sting of the sudden and untimely death of our Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Harabi Manuwe Chumwewa, a senior advocate of Nigeria, hit us all very hard in the morning hours of Friday, 10th August 2018. It was shocking news, too difficult to believe, yet very true. It was a blow, too severe and too painful, yet we have to bear it. It was an occurrence, too difficult to understand, yet very real. Before this hallowed is the council chambers, which you bestowed like a colossus for over three years, is your lifeless body. It seems you live your life like a candle in the wind, brief but very eventful. Sad times like this usually evoke conflicting feelings, whether to mourn your sad person or to celebrate you for a great life of service and achievement. For me, and I believe for most of us here present, we prefer to celebrate you more than to grieve over your demands. Apart from the fact that no amount of mourning or grieving will bring you back, the good book also enjoins that in everything we should give thanks to the Lord, for your transition is the ultimate will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. For three and a half years, you labored with us in these in chambers to move with our state forward. Your commitment, loyalty, and service to our state were exemplary. You are such a pleasing and vibrant personality, always so unbeat, cheerful, and warm. At all times, you radiated passion for duty, love for results, and friendship. Your achievement for our state within three years were beyond measure. It was no accident that the golden era of the River State Judiciary happened during your stewardship as Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice. Above all, we miss your service to our state and our people, but we remain consoled that our loss in your death is heaven's glorious game. Oh, death, where then is your sting? Where is thy victory? Let me take this opportunity to thank the entire family for our late Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice for sharing him with us and with the people of River State. I want you to know that your loss is our loss, and so your pain is ours as well. Be assured that we shall do the needful to preserve his legacy, just as his memories will forever remain in our hearts. May his gentle soul rest in eternal peace. Dear brother, I am dumbfounded at the suddenness of your departure. Our lives have crisscrossed right from when I was 10 years old, and you were my school father at Federal Government College, Port Harcourt. Subsequently, we met in other forms, and you showed me the brilliance I have not seen in any other person. Providence reunited us at the River State Executive Council under the leadership of our governor. At a time when your courage and decency, even in adversity, shone through. You were Mr. Dependable. You were the best Attorney General this state has ever known. And I saw that he was a very hardworking young man very knowledgeable, and we knew that actually the cap of the head of the Executive Council fitted him very well, and he did the work to the admiration of all of us. But now we know that faith in God is the only ultimate thing, and this death, this shocking death, has shown us that man is vulnerable and mortal. And that there is nothing really that man can hold, except when directed by God. With the body of HAG lying in this box, which none of us will ever wish for ourselves. He was an apostle of the New Rivers vision. He was passionate, patriotic, committed, and yet humble to his assigned portfolio. He was a council member who subjected every council memo to the scale of legal, to scale of his legal profession. Your Excellency Council Members, we owe our brother two things. One, we must convince the spirit of our former HAG that the Project 2019, which we all started, must be successfully concluded with the serious commitment of all Council Members. How will I tell this story? How do I begin? It is hard to believe that you are gone. It's a bitter pill to swallow 
you were a wonderful brother, colleague, and friend. Very intelligent and diligent lawyer. No doubt you rose to the rank of the senior advocate of Nigeria, one of the best attorneys general and commissioner for justice that River State ever produced. As a colleague in the state, in service of the state, I can attest to the fact that you served with unparalleled loyalty, commitment, and diligence. Indeed, you gave your all. She where you served River State with zeal that never wavered. That is why I refer to you as my own HAG. Executive Council, on the 2nd of August 2018, I received 50 files from Chiwe. When I saw those files, I asked a question. Where is Chiwe? Is it back? And I was told that it was not back. Then on the 10th, I had the news that Chiwe is done. It was unbelievable to me, as far as we are concerned, especially in the Ministry of Lands and Soil, it was a hard news to believe. He was humble and passionate. He did his job very, very diligently. The deluge of tributes and the testimonies already expressed in honor of our departed colleague, Emmanuel Chinwe, Aguma SN. The field has been substantially covered. All that remains for me is to adopt all those as mine and add if there's one metaphor that defines the life and times of Chinwe, it is cameo. A cameo is a precious stone with a very brief life, but illuminates with the glory of a thousand stars. Chinwe acted this part like a cameo, but he acted so brilliantly and he took his bow when his ovation was loudest. To him, with whom I worked as his first solicitor general when he was appointed on the 12th of June 2015. My senior advocate of Nigeria was an illustrious son of River State and the Niger Delta region. He was a true patriot of the Nigerian nation. The first time I met him in 2015, when we were on the committee, on the committee sessions, trying to formulate the blueprint for the campaign of His Excellency Governor Mike, then the gubernatorial candidate and flag bearer of our great party. The level of passion, integrity, and commitment he showed to the New Rivers vision. My brother, the Patriot, Honorable Attorney General, I want to reflect a little bit. Before the advent of this administration, Chinwe was not an active politician, but he defended the rule of law. I recall the incident of dissolution of Obiakwa Local Government Council under the leadership of Timothy Nsirim. He was there. When the ex elected executive of PDP in 2012 Congress were also taken out of office when the previous administration were defending, Attorney General was there. In defense of the rule of law, on the 11th of May 2018, at about 7.15 hours, I had a phone call. Thank you.